Tivero ni ende namorata Wamana wamagelania Tivero ni ende namorata Wamana wamagelania Wanyendi
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am so humbled to stand before this altar. I know it is by the grace of God that it is standing. Thank you so much, Pastor, and the entire family. Uh, we are not new in this house because Bishop uh, Moses is our friend. So we are just moving around the rooms of the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, allow me to speak uh, briefly on, on matters uh, of, uh, this is 2021, the year of, is the year of, I want to speak briefly about righteousness uh, and faith and strategy. How do we define righteousness, the year of righteousness? But seek, not this, aim at and strive after. That is very powerful. Amen? So we seek righteousness in this way. The other uh, uh, part that is so powerful here is uh, his way of doing and his way of being right. Amen? God does not think like we do. Amen? When God wants you to preserve, he tells you to give. Amen? Jesus said, those who strive to spare their souls, they will lose them. Amen? Si mungu pia anapendezwa moyoni kwa shilingi moja mayo ilikuwa inja imepatikana kushinda 99 ambazo ziko kwa mfuko. That is the way God thinks. But we think other, the other way. Si 99 zita nunua zaidi. That is how God thinks. Amen. Jesus said to John the Baptist, you must baptize me so that we may fulfill all righteousness. Amen. But Jesus was not speaking about sin. But he had to be baptized so that all righteousness may be fulfilled. A man called Nehemiah, when he wo, they were rebuilding the city of uh, 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 Jerusalem, then there were some guys out there who planned and said, to end the pale, to jifanye kama manabi, to prophesy against uh, uh, Nehemiah, ili waweze kupull back. But Nehemiah said, I would not give in to the lie so that I do not sin against God. But see, Nehemiah was trying to save his life. Wewe ukiambiwa kuna adui, anakungojea hapa, ili aje ya kuwe, utoroke. Iyo ni dhambi. Ata kama ulikuwa unafanya mambo ambayo ya nafaa. Iyo ni dhambi. Lakini kwa macho ya mungu na Nehemaya, kutoroka kwake na kuacha kufanya kazi ya mbayo, alikuwa ametarajua ame kuifanya ni dhambi. Amen? Fulfilling all righteousness. Where am I heading to? From the beginning, God created man and woman. He created them, male and female. Both of them he created for one reason. When we come to the book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 15, we understand what was in the mind of God. And what was this? Because God desired a godly offspring. Hallelujah. God desired a godly offspring. That's why he created the two of them, so that they may propagate an offspring for God. Hallelujah. For the service of God. Now I'm coming to the issue of faith. Let me tell you, the enemies of family are so many. They are all around us. And they are not just dynamic and powerful, but they camouflage themselves in such a way that we so easily and willingly accept what they offer to us. Amen? Including the governments, constitutions, uh, 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 organizations, rights organizations, and all this. From right and left, the family is being hit. And we may, uh, we, we need to be graced to understand that which is coming from God. That is the still, small voice that speaks to our hearts. Aim and strive. We must strive. Hallelujah. We must strive. We remember when uh, 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 the, the, the disciples of Jesus deserted him and said, 
Giki githo mwone kia rito hamono. Diwe nuo kumulo mbirira. Na magisho kana dhuda. Tunaelewa iyo luga. Naye yesu wakaja akasema kwa wengine. Na nyinyi pia mnataka kwenda. But those who are aiming and who are ready to strive. Say to Jesus. Tudhiku. Tuende wapi na wewe ndiye unaye maneno ya uzima. Hallelujah. May every one of us and especially the fathers be in that category. Because these are issues of faith. If today God would tell you, Father, you pick the hand of your wife, you go back in the house and bring up your children in a godly way, how many will do that? It will call for faith in God. It is the same God who was there yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And I'm telling you, it's only those who are aiming at the right thing and are ready to strive who will say, yes, Lord, without reasoning. Amen. Abraham is our father of faith. Why do we speak about him in matters of faith? He never reasoned. It's not easy for a man to be told by God, toka mali unajua, uende mali intakuonyesha, na hauna ata idea. I had a man of God one time say, ata haja kupatia Google map, utaenda na mnagani. But by faith, you choose to follow God. It is the same today. Because bringing up a godly family in this day and time is warfare. I repeat, it is warfare. And in warfare, what matters is not just the number of the soldiers you have, nor the might of your army, but strategy also matters. Amen. And this is what the Spirit of God is saying to us. Back in our households, that is our family altars, that is where we are going to win every battle. This is the strategy that God is giving us. Amen. Because if we raise that godly foundation in our households, even when we get out here, there is no wind of falsehood that is going to shake us. Amen. For God created the first institution, which is the family. The church and the schools and all these came back in a fallen nature. But the first institution was the family. And God ordained a mother and a father to raise that godly generation. Amen. We must go back to our family altars. And that's where our healing is. I may speak and you may feel like it's easy to do this. But I ha as I have said, it is warfare. There are things we must say no, and we say yes to others. We must be willing to obey God. We must be ready to pay the cost. We must sacrifice. Hallelujah. So that we may go back to the fold where God wants every family to be. And let me tell you, if our family stands, the church will stand. The nation will stand. Many of the battles that we are fighting today, we will cease to fight. Hallelujah. Righteousness. We must be found at a righteous place. We must be found standing where God wants us to stand. Fathers, arise. You are priests in your houses. Mothers, support your husbands. Children, obey your parents. And fathers and mothers, do not cause offense to your children. Four golden rules. Fathers, love your wives. Mothers, submit to your husbands. Children, obey your parents. Parents, do not provoke your children. If we follow those, then our families are going to stand for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When, when nothing else, nothing else could help, love, love lifted me up. I was sinking deep, deep in the but from the peaceful shore, peaceful shore, peaceful shore. very deeply stained within, mm -hmm. sinking to rise no more. No more. 
nothing else could help When nothing else could help Love lifted me Lifted me Amen, amen. Thank you so much.